All right, now we're doing 8Q training JS number 9 loop statement while and do while. All right, cool. And this is by uh, MyJinxon2015, and 91% of the people like it. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to be coding a function padded. The function accepts two parameters, uh, str, which is a string, whatever, and uh, in, which is the number of how many times to pad the string. So the behavior, we're going to write a loop statement uh, within the function that loops in times. Each time through the loop, it will add uh, one star to str, alternating on which side it's padded. First time will be added to the left side, the second to the right side, and so on. And then uh, we're going to re return the padded string. Okay, so for this one, we're just going to say while. And then we're going to say while in is uh, less than, no, excuse me, greater than zero. And so while in is greater than zero, we're going to say uh, if, what are we going to do here? We're going to say if in remainder operator, if in divided by two has a remainder, uh, well, I gotta do some stuff. All right, one second. All right, if in remain, if in divided by two has a remainder, we're going to say uh, str equals. Um, what is it? We're gonna send it to the uh, left hand side. It said, so we're gonna go star. Then we're gonna say. Uh, string all right and if not oops else we're going to say uh, str equals str excuse me, plus str plus this star right and then after that, we're going to say uh, in minus minus. And then after that, we're going to just uh, return it. All right, return uh, str. All right, let's see what happens. All right, cool. Now that was a lot of typing. So let's try to do this a little simpler, a little, a little more easily, in my opinion. Let's see. Uh, repeat. We're going to get the old repeat out, right? Uh, and we're going to get rid of all this. Because that's a lot. Look at look how long it's taking me to delete it, all right? And right here, we're going to say, uh, let's, let me show you what repeat is. Repeat method constructs and returns a new string, which contains the specified number of copies of the string on which it was called concatenated together, okay? So basically just repeat something, all right? And the syntax right here is count and repeat, all right? So uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna say, what are we gonna do? We're gonna say star. We're gonna make it the string star. And we're gonna say dot repeat. And for this one, uh, since it's uh, this one's going to be on the left-hand side, we're just going to divide in. Actually, we're going to add one to in and then divide it by two. That way, uh, if it's odd, it'll be the it'll be one more over to that side, and if it's even, it'll be on the other side. So let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we're we're say in plus one. Let me put that in parentheses m plus 1 divided by 2, all right, plus string, and then plus, and then we're just going to do it again on the other side. Watch. Well, we're going to change it up just a little bit, all right? Instead of this plus 1, we're just going to have n. And that's it. That should do it. Let me show you. Test it out. Perfect. Awesome. So, yeah, it's just going to, like, if it, let's say it was 3, okay? So 3 divided by 2 
is 1.15. So if it was just normal, it would just say 1, and it would not round it or anything. Just, just take 1 as the integer. So you just say plus 1. So that's 4 divided by 2. That'd be 1. Excuse me, 2. So 2 plus 1 over here, and that would be the 3. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Attempt it. Oh, look. <laughs> another one of those just to uh, take care of business we're just gonna comment out the word while and that'll fix everything test it out looks good S attempt it great submit it and uh, then uh, we're gonna vary like this I'm gonna vary like it was we'll I don't know what you're gonna do on my solutions just me best practice in my opinion and we'll see you next time